It's gonna be okay. Look at me. Look at me. It's gonna be okay. Let's talk about Resident Evil 6. Uh, managed to find the games play area. Luckily we did it really early in the morning so there was no one there. So that meant I got to play Leon and I got to play Chris. And there were three characters in the actual demo that was available at Gamescom. Uh, so I, I did miss out on the third guy but, you know, I got two out of three which isn't bad. Chris has obviously continued from, uh, he's in Resident Evil 1 and in Resident Evil 5. Uh, and Leon is in two and four. I know I'm safe because uh, me and Duncan we picked up some little antivirus sweets as swag. Further down in one of the different halls, there was a very uh, a very nice umbrella van that sort of like folded out, and there was a massive DJ booth in the middle of it, so that was really cool. Uh, and by the side, there was also uh, some zombie makeup artists, so you could go and get your face done. Uh, we didn't do that just because we had to you know go and actually meet people throughout the day and didn't fancy rolling up looking like the undead anyway so the the two demos that i played uh the leon demo and the chris demo the leon demo is very much what resident evil used to be sort of a gritty horror set in the dark they seem that you're in a school or some kind of american college uh, there was a very large American football field outside with zombies just roaming around it with the stadium lights on. Uh, you had to go through the library to find a key to get out. The alarm got set off and then obviously all the stuff, all the nice infected people came through the window because they wanted a hug. So it was cool. It was very, you know, heart racing and oh god, I'm going to die. So yeah, it was... It was certainly, um, I'd say that it's, it's definitely an attempt to get back to what the old Resident Evil used to be. Chris, Chris demo was completely different. There was like a shootout in the street with tanks and infected men. German language kind of got in the way of guessing where we were, but it looked like a sort of old ghost towny village somewhere, you know, a little bit desolate. It was certainly not a certainly certainly would have placed it as eastern european or european you end up on your own except for your friend out of nowhere through a house a giant man appears and tries to kill you like i mean we're talking proper giant we're talking like resident evil 5 if you know what i mean in terms of the actual like the zombies or whatever you want to call them i know people don't like the word zombies with resident evil um but the the infected the infected people that you come across that want to try and kill you um, I didn't really see many, apart from the giant, they were all pretty standard zombie people. They weren't, you know, special. They were the normal, everyday ones that you see to start you off nice and gently. Um, but they were still quite, quite hardcore. They changed them since Resident Evil 5. They're a little bit faster, a little bit more variety in what they do. If you try and shoot them in the leg to knock them down so you can stomp on their head sometimes, they'll ignore that and just lunge for you and knock you down as well so you have to fight them on the ground. Or, you know, they, they'll block you or they'll push you over and it, there's much more of a fear, there's much more of a, an element of terror almost because you don't know that this tactic will work on your everyday zombie every time. It just gives, it just gives more variety and I do like a little bit of variety in these games. The other thing I'm very happy to report, and I know Duncan was thrilled with when we, we did play the demo, was that they've changed the knife. So you can actually move whilst you're trying to stab someone, you're not stuck on the spot. And the guns seem to be a little bit easier to use as well. Just the general uh, positioning of the camera is just seems a little bit more player friendly in terms of targeting and moving. It's, the whole flow of the game just seems a little bit more natural and hopefully they've taken the good things from Resident Evil 5 and the good things from the previous games and mesh them together. I know they said in, a, in an article somewhere, um, I think it was like M MCV or something, 
I could be wrong, but I, I know they said that they were wanting to try and mesh the two together because they wanted, in Resident Evil 5, they were trying to give an action-y adventure element to the game as well as the horror, but some of that got lost on the way. So hopefully this is this is a hybrid of the two that actually is going to work and going to be amazing. I know that the demo certainly looks amazing. With any luck, it's going to be awesome. That's all on Resident Evil 6. Thanks for watching and more to come from XCOM, End of Nations and Dishonored.